Good morning, saints of God, and welcome to this blessed Thursday, um, our daily victory. Wherever you are, I want you to know that God is a good God. Regardless of what you're going through, God is a good God. I want to thank Pastor Gary and Pastor Faye for this opportunity. I believe that God's word will reach people wherever they are, and their stories will be changed. It's a time of Thanksgiving, and I'm going to be sharing today um, and talking about a thankful heart, thankful heart. And let's just pray. Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for the gift of today. We thank you for what we are going through. We thank you for the fact that you're still a good God. It doesn't matter. We will always tell you thank you. Let your word find its place in our heart today. And let's, let's have a good time with you. Let our spirit be, be fed today from your table. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Wherever you are, I'm going to be talking about a thankful heart. And if you have your Bibles, you can turn with me to the book of Luke. And Luke... In the word of God this morning, we're going to be reading about the story of the lepers. I'm sure that most of us already know that, but we're just going to see what's in there for us this morning. We're going to be reading the, uh, from Luke chapter 17 and reading from verse 11. And it came to pass as he went to Jerusalem, Jesus went to Jerusalem. He passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered into a certain village, there met him ten men that were lepers, which stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. And when he saw them, he said unto them, Go show yourselves unto the priests. And it came to pass that as they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed and turned back and with a loud voice glorified God and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks, giving Jesus thanks. And he was a Samaritan. And Jesus answering said, Were there not ten cleansed? Were there, where are the nine? Verse 18, they are not found that we turn to give glory to God, save the stranger. Verse 19, and he said unto him, arise, go thy way. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Amen. Amen. This is the story of a leper who came back to tell Jesus. Thank you for what Jesus did. And I want you to know that when he returned and told Jesus, thank you, Jesus pronounced him whole. There's a difference between just being healed and made whole. I'm not going to go into all of that details, but 10 lepers were healed. They were given an instruction by Jesus to go show themselves to the, uh, to the priest. And as they were going, obeying Jesus, they got their healing. They were 10 and only one among them. And I pray that you'll be the only one among many today to tell them thank you. When he returned and told Jesus, thank you, Jesus told him, thy faith had made thee whole. Listen, I believe the 10 of them were healed, but this one that came back to, that, that told Jesus, thank you. There are many things that God, God healed in his life. He was made whole. And I know you understand what it means to be whole. Everything about him would have now been touched by Jesus. And I pray that that will be your testimony. 
as a child of God, I want you to know that God desires that we tell him thank you. And I, 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 I think of something that has happened in the past. Uh, I was, I think we we're talking about Thanksgiving one time and someone said, when you give someone a gift, the one that receives the gift, his hands are always lower. You know, they take something when you give them a gift. So when you give someone a gift, you give someone uh, money or anything, the one that gives his hand is on top and the one that receives his hand is lower. So when you come back and tell God, thank you for something, it's like your hands are on top. But God's hand can be lower. His hands will always be on top. That means God will always want to do more than what you have said. That's why anyone that comes back to tell God, thank you for what he's done, your tank will be full. So if you have a tank, if you have a basket, if you have something that you're expecting to be filled, your tank will always be full. I want you to know that giving thanks is, is actually telling God that you recognize what he has done for you. It's a response to God's goodness and his grace. I want you to have that attitude today. I want you to have a heart of thanksgiving. Thank him for what he has done and what he's yet to do. Someone might say, ah, oh, you don't know what I'm going through. Yes. I want you to know that God knows what you're going through. But I want you also to get, make the devil real mad by telling God, thank you. That you might be going through a situation right now that doesn't look so good. But I want to encourage you, dare to tell the Lord, thank you that I'm going through this right now, like Job did in the Bible. We know the story of Job and all the things that he went through. I want you to know that the devil wouldn't like you to tell God thank you, but dare to tell God thank you and see what the Lord will do. And this time, you know, uh, that we live, things are really very, very tough. I know a lot of people that are going through um, difficult times, but dare to tell God thank you. This is a time that you want to tell God thank you. The devil doesn't like that, but I want you to know that when you dare to tell God thank you, you will get God's attention and he will, he will respond beyond what you imagine. And I'm reminded this morning of uh, a small thing that happened uh, some days back. And some of, so, some people might look at it like nothing, but you know, I was taking my kids back from school and uh, my last boy, Jesse, was like, Daddy, why do we always have to stop at the red light? I was like, yes, you have to stop when we come to uh, the traffic where the light is, we, we got to stop and wait until we have a green. So he's like, why do we always have to wait this long? So one of the days we're coming from school and it just happened that every time we came to where the lights were, everything was green. We came through just when we we're there, it was green and we had to go make a left turn, go all the way. I'm like, whoa. And then he got to me like, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for the green light today. I thank you that I didn't have to wait this long. And I told Jesse, see, this, this is what the Lord has done for us. I want you to be thankful for the small things today. As you start your day, if your day has started, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, just be grateful to God for the small things. And like the leper who came back to tell Jesus, thank you. I know that your tank will be full. I know you will be made whole. 
tell God thank you in every situation that you are right now because that's what the word of God makes us to understand. In Philippians 6 verse 7, uh, 4, Philippians 4, 6 to 7, he said, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, present your request to the Lord and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Here, here we have a protocol for receiving here. When you make your situation, you, 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 for, for whatever you're going through and you need an answer, there is by prayer, by petition, and by thanksgiving. Listen, saints of God, we have a lot of people who have given up and saying they are, they, 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 there's no God anywhere. If God knew what I was going through, then he would have done something about it. Yes, I have a thing that I always tell the devil when I'm going through a bad situation. You know, back home, so some people would say, it is well. Like we always say when you're going through something, they say, it is well. I say, yes, it is well. I said, even inside the well, I keep saying that, that even inside the well, it is well. I want the devil to know that even in a deep hole, even in a bad situation, God is still there with me. I want you to be encouraged today to know that God is waiting for you to say thank you. And when you dare to tell God thank you, he will respond. He will respond he will see you. I pray today that whatever you're going through, that your situation will turn around for a thanksgiving. As we're here right now thinking about the harvest and what God has done, the fact that you have life, the fact that you can talk about this thing that you're going through means there's hope. The devil always wants us to see the wrong side. He wants us to feel like there's no God. Yes, there is. In fact, there's a God, that's why I'm going through this and I'm going to come out. I dare you to tell the devil and tell whatever thing, whatever situation, whatever report that has been given to you, I dare you to tell the devil that you're coming out. In fact, by the eyes of faith, you have to declare it. The enemy doesn't want you to see what God has done for you. The story that we read this morning was... was Talking about the leper. After he was healed, he came back to tell Jesus, thank you. I want you to take a step, take it a step further. That in the midst of a situation that looks bad, dare to tell God thank you and see what God will do. You know, that confuses the enemy when you tell God thank you, when you praise the Lord in the midst of a situation that doesn't look good. It confuses the enemy. I want you to tell God thank you this morning or wherever you are, if you're watching from any part of the world. Say, Lord, thank you. Thank you for what I'm going through. Thank you for my family. I want you to come from a place of victory. And that changes everything. As you listen today to daily victory, I pray that this word of God will meet you in a good place. And dare to tell God thank you for the big things, for the small things. Mm, be thankful. I've had a thankful heart um, um, for about a, a four weeks now. I just found myself always telling God thank you. Thank you for what he's done. Thank you for what you will do. And I see great things happening. I want you to try today. Tell God thank you. If you dare to tell him thank you, your, your tank will be full. He will take you from the situation you are. Child of God, be encouraged this morning or this afternoon that the Lord is waiting for you to tell him thank you. In this season, just be thankful. Tell him thank you for your life. Tell him thank you for the things he will do. I want you to try that out today and see what God will do. Uh, wherever you are, I want you to call in 
and be encouraged today. And we'll be we'll, we'll be praying with you wherever you are. Calling if you're calling from the U.S. The number is three zero two five six one six seven six seven. In the U.S., you can call three zero two five six one six seven six seven. And if you're calling from Canada, you can call seven zero nine five zero zero six seven six seven. If you're calling in from Canada. It's seven zero nine five zero zero six seven six seven. Listen, God loves you, and He's waiting for you to tell Him thank you. And the Lord will will do more for you than you expect. We have a thank for that. Lord, I thank you for your people. Help them today, and bless them and increase them, as they have a heart of thanksgiving. God bless you.